Good morning, everybody. My name is Nick Couch from Pennsylvania. I'm an independent promoter with Prove It. We are here to kick off the DMO Hacks huddle today. And our host and speaker for the day will be Missy Sipe, who's also from Pennsylvania. So I'm going to turn the mic over. Take it away. Hey, thanks, Nick. So my name is Missy Sipe. I'm from Pennsylvania, uh, about a half hour away from where Nick is. Um, independent promoter with Prove It. And um, they asked me to talk about, um, today's talks about DMOs, so they asked me to talk about personal development um, and how I use that in my daily method of operation. So about a year and a half ago, before I was um, with Prove It, I started listening to Gary Vaynerchuk um, because I knew that I was in my head, even though I really didn't know what personal development was or really even called it that. I just found this guy that, like, told me to get out of my head. So started listening to him. And then um, as time went on, like I started applying some of the things that he, he said and started getting positive return from it. So um, it, was, it, it was kind of something I just started not knowing what I was really doing. And then now I use it almost as a tool in my toolbox to um, help me overcome things that I run into with being improve it now um, for almost a year. Um, so one of the things I do every day um, in my daily method of operation is I read every every day. I try to read in the morning. Um, sometimes it doesn't work out that way. I haven't. Um, but I always read 20 minutes or listen to podcast or audible um, audio books. And those 20 minutes, I actually are, I call them intentional uh, self-development. So I actually take notes. Sometimes I rewind or I reread or I highlight um, my, what I'm doing. And then I take action steps from them. Sometimes there's something I have to work on for a long period of time. And then other times it's just real quick, get out of my head, like saying my I am statement, things like that, my why rewriting that or um I, my husband loves it I, I sometimes have plan like when he gets home from work because I work from home um so like I have plans for us to action plan I guess action steps for us to take um as a family because we at first this was just me and everybody thinking I'm a little crazy like just trying to get out of my head and finally like three months later now it's uh, well, a year later now but it took about three months now the whole family's on board so for people out there, like if you guys have family members that you're listening to self-development and they're still in that negative, like not on board on personal development, consistency and persistence works. Um, now the whole family is on board. We read, we, like I said, we have action steps. We do at night sometimes. Um, so that's like the 20 minutes I do with that. And then the other times throughout the day, like when I get a shower, when I'm in the car, um, sometimes we listen to crazy music and it's all positive music, like rock, pop, country, whatever. But a lot of times we'll listen to um, podcasts and self-development in there. Or when I'm doing research at home on my computer, I'll be listening to um, self-development, but I'm not taking those action steps. It's kind of just there. I think Tony said the other day, like the white noise. Um, sometimes I catch things, other times it's just running, but something that I've noticed really made a difference is, um, my background noise and my white noise used to be my TV. Like I would put it on 27 all day, like just to have it there, not really listening, but I didn't realize how much negativity that was creating, I guess, in my head, even though I wasn't really paying attention to it. So, um, uh, even though that like I think turning off the TV and just feeding your brain with that positivity is huge um, One of my I use it if I have if I run into a lot of no's like if I run into objections or just some just meanness <laughs> like I actually the pursuit like is my go-to like I carry it Nick laughs at me I carry it with me and like if something happens I'm like okay I just need to read like and I go to the chapter and like I read it and I get out of my head real quick I think we learned this in might have been in Kentucky 
on the last day where I think it was Brian said, or um, where you're, you have that line and bad things are going to happen, but it's how quick you get back to that line of being okay and just going forward. Um, so I use that a lot. Like I used to be very reactive, have a meltdown and be like, it would take me days to get over things. Now I get back to that line quicker. So that's like, they're my key things that I do. Um, as far as motivation, I listen to what Brian, like all the leaders say, as far as what books to read. And then I, depending on where I am and what part, how I need to get out of my head, um, is what I'll read that day. Um, I'm trying to think that's everything with personal development. If anybody has like questions, PM me, like I'm happy to help and answer questions. And uh, Nick, I have no idea how long I've been talking because I can't find okay. my stopwatch. I was actually going to jump in there because I, because I know you so well, because we coach directly. Um, yesterday, for a good example, Missy showed up at the park with our kids and her kids, and we were all hanging out. She, <coughs> she was so excited. She had scored a bunch of books at the bookstore that day, and, like, she couldn't wait to w walk out to the car and show me all these books. And what was really cool is she bought duplicates of some of the books because she wants to keep one for herself and she wants to gift the other one to different people. And I noticed based off of what we do together and what we do as a company, some of those books that she had picked up were books that Brian James has recommended. Some of those books are books of TD Jakes who Brian Underwood shares a lot of his stuff and things like that. So what was the call to action? And then that's all we really have, Missy. Okay. Uh, real quick, I needed to do, I want to do um, the recognition also. Um, so Riley Pearson and Nancy Benson both hit MVP this week, or this, I guess it's this week. Um, and Donna Petucci, I'm sorry, and Christy Jones, um, their coaches wanted to recognize them for the hustle and the um, phase one activities that they're crushing. So great job, guys. Um, and then call to action was um, Nick's going to post because he's hosting it. He's going to post in there um, a Mel Robbins video. Uh, if you guys could just watch that um, post, a Facebook post, what you got out of that five minute or out of that video. And then hashtag with uh, Nick, help me out. Oh, the hashtag good in, good out. Awesome. And then uh, tag your coach. Awesome. So yeah, tag your coach, good in, good out for the hashtag. You can either share the video or just write something about how you're going to apply the five second rule to your day, to your life, to your business, to your daily method of operations. But that's all we have for today. Happy Monday, everybody. Missy, that was awesome. Appreciate you big time. Thank you. See you guys. See you guys.